guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create a custom 404 page in Squarespace. But first, you might be wondering what on earth that is. It's really simple. Basically, a 404 page is what someone will land on if they try to go to a page on your site that you've either deleted or you've changed the link for. Squarespace does have a default 404 page, but we can make this better and make sure that people stay on your website longer. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about building your online business, so if that's something that you want to do, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so let's get started with building a custom 404 page. All right, so here is the default 404 page in Squarespace. While it's great that they give us a default page, it could definitely be spruced up a little. Okay, so here is the new page that I created. So basically I say, oops, my bad. The link that you were looking for is no longer here. Don't worry though, I've got all sorts of great stuff for you all about making the tech of your online business easy. So this is because I wanted new visitors to know what the website was about. And then down here, I'm linking to my most popular content. The first is to get a free trial of my website building course. So this is step one in my sales funnel. So this is the most important link for me right now. So think about what that is for you in your own business. And then second, I wanted to give them an option to watch any of my tech tutorials. And finally, give them an option to search your website. So I've just inserted a search bar here and they could easily find um, related content to whatever they were looking for. So this is just what I decided to do, but you can make your page look however you want. I actually had a lot of fun this morning looking up examples of great 404 pages. For example, this one, when you land on an error page, it tells you um, to pick which web developer to fire. So pretty funny. Get creative with this page for sure. So I'm going to show you how to create yours. What you need to do is just go into pages in Squarespace and then scroll down to the not linked section. Click on the plus sign and add in a regular page. Then you're going to title this 404 or 404 page. And then I'm just going to start this off with a starter layout. Okay. Now I'm going to add in my image to make this a bit more visual. And then here is where you would type in your content. So I did, whoops, my bad. Typed in my content there. Okay, and then I'm going to add in some buttons. So you just find your insert point, add in a button. This is, you know, your most important link and you would select the click through URL here to determine where it goes. So if you just click on content, you can choose the page on your website that you want it to go to. So I added in a button. I'm going to add in one more button and place that there. Okay, so again, you can just change the text right here. So then what I did was add in a text box that said, or try searching here. And now I can find my insert point, scroll down to where it says search, click on that. And this is going to pull in a search bar. With this, you can either have it search your entire website or you can limit it to one page. So for example, if I wanted people to just be able to search my tutorials, I could click on videos. You might want people to just be able to search your blog, so that will be listed here. All right, so I'm going to click apply, make this a bit smaller. Okay, this is obviously just example purposes, but you get the idea. All right, so we would save that. And then what you need to do, so here's my completed page. Awesome, okay. So then what you need to do is click back up top here, then settings. Scroll down to where it says advanced. Click on 404 error slash page not found. 
As you can see, it's currently set to the system default. All you need to do is click on this drop down here, scroll down to your 404 page, click on that, click save, and that is going to set this as your 404 page. So now when somebody goes to a link that is no longer there, this is what they are going to see. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and remember to hit the bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.